Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do an unbagging. Um, so this is how my package from Vera arrived. Um, they don't send out boxes a lot unless you order like a huge, huge amount of stuff. Um, and I used to work at Vera Bradley, the outlet, and it was one of my favorite jobs. It was so much fun and I really loved um, just working at a place with handbags. <laughs> um, handbags are a big passion of mine, so I'm going to start with the smaller items. Well, maybe. So the first thing I ordered was this mask and this is my stuff in here. I do really like having a mask that matches my bags, which doesn't happen often unless you're buying a Vera bag. So this is the print. It's very pretty, lots of flowers. Um, flowers, purses, things like that are some of my favorite things, especially flowers. I love anything floral. Um, and I'm sitting here, there are a whole bunch of loose strings hanging off of this, but so this is the mask. I really like this pink flower over here. I think that's like a very good print placement. There aren't any hummingbirds on it, but I still really like it. All right, I'm gonna go with the bag. Um, as you might've seen in my last video, I kind of like having small bags just for myself. And I do have a mini Glenna satchel crossbody. I'm not sure what they call it, but it's a mini Glenna. Um, and I really loved that. So when I saw this mini, um, gosh, what's it called? The mini triple compartment bag. I don't know, we'll find out in just a second because I'm going to, if I can get this bag off of it. Okay, so when I saw this bag, let's see what its exact name is. Okay, so this is the mini multi-compartment bag. And it's about the size of the mini Glenna, which is kind of nice, but the pockets on this bag are insane. So this is, oh, let's see if I can get it. This retails for 75 and that is what I paid for it. I did not get it on sale. It's a little folded from being folded down like this, which is nice. I like that you can fold it up and store it nicely when you're not using it. And I like the bottom, how wide it is. Obviously it's gonna have to be wide for multi compartments, but there are no feet, which is the case with pretty much most Vera Bradley bags. So we'll start with the front here. Yeah, this is the front because this is where their little name tag is. It says Vera Bradley kind of hard to see from here, but I don't know, maybe you can see it in the camera. There is a pocket right here with a beautiful print on the inside. This is a print that just totally screams my name because I love it. All right, so we've got a magnetic pocket right here. That's a pretty strong magnet, I like that. Um, and inside tucked is a strap to make it a crossbody. So I'm just going to unhook that. And we'll go over that in a minute. Next, there is a zipper compartment in the direct center of the bag. Okay. Okay, so no pockets in this, but it does zip shut, which is nice. So anything that I think someone might be worried about, um, they could just put in the center. And this, print on the inside, I believe is called Hummingbird Blooms. And it's so pretty. I really liked the Hummingbird Blooms um, print and I did want to get some bags or something in it, but they didn't have many bags um, in this print right here. And they just weren't my style. So I didn't want to buy a bag just because um, of the print. I'd hate to buy a bag and not have one that I like. 
Okay, I had to pause the video. My daughter walked in, my oldest daughter. Yeah, so I really like this print, but I don't want to buy it in a pat or in a, a bag that I don't like. So for now, I will just have to enjoy it. And it's so pretty. There's so many. I've got lots of hummingbirds in here. I don't know if you can see. Where did that? Right there. There's a hummingbird and there's one right here. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So the next one you have another magnetic pocket. Like I said, very strong magnets. I really like that. And then just another open pocket. And let me check. Okay, so I did miss that, okay. On the very first magnetic pocket, there was or is a zipper, like a zip pocket back here. Let's see if I can open it. So there is a zip pocket back here. There is a little bit of organization. I don't see any slip pockets yet, so. Yes, so this back one does not have a zipper pocket or any slip pockets. It's just an open pocket, and that's okay. I mean, it's so organized. I don't know why you'd need any more pockets inside the pockets. And then we've got another slip pocket back here. Same size as the one over here. And that is pretty much it for the bag. It's very small. I love having satchels. Like I am just a throw it on my arm type of person and go. I really like it. And I love, I think the, the thing I love the most about is handbags is that they're a great accessory to your outfits. And for me, I mean, they just kind of cheer me up. I like adding a pretty bag to my outfit it really makes my day. So I realize I'm looking over there, but I'm sitting a different way. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay. So let's talk about this crossbody strap. So this is how it comes. Okay. Really nice hardware. And it says, oh, let's see. Vera Bradley. I don't know. You might not be able to see that. Um, so I'm going to take this paper off of it. Now this is the only downside I saw about this bag and I had watched a video after I ordered it, which it still would not have changed my mind on whether I wanted it or not. So, okay, the first thing is there's no like D-rings to hook this onto. They've got these funky little loops and you hook the strap, let's see. It's not terribly hard to hook it onto. So you hook the strap here, but I can see right now I'm pulling on it. And let me see. Now, if your bag is getting weighed down or you have a lot in your bag that's heavy, you can see it's already pulling up this fabric right here. Um, okay, so that's my first downside. Again, not a deal breaker for me. So I'm gonna hook it on this other one. Now this is the other thing. I, I just really hate <laughs> when a crossbody bag has their hooks in diagonal um, like directions. I would rather see my bags have their hooks on each side directly um, like across from each other. And I understand why they did this but I think it would have added a lot more to the bag to have the metal hardware for the like D-rings. Um, and I can see why they didn't do it because there's not a whole lot of space to add a D-ring right here um, because the zipper goes down so far. But if they could have come up with a way, maybe, um, no, maybe there, I mean, there probably wasn't much of a way to do that, but I just really do not like when, let me see if I can zip this and get a better angle, when you're putting on a bag. And maybe that does make it easier to wear it crossbody. And maybe it just stays crossbody better. I'm not sure. Um, so I understand why they did this, but I don't really like um, them in different compartments. And then even then right now, I have nothing in this bag. And as I'm holding it, I don't know if it's visible. 
it's already pulling up the fabric quite a bit. Again, not a huge deal for me um, because I do carry it. Um, I do like to carry these as a satchel, um, but occasionally I'll throw on the crossbody strap and I will probably keep it in here. Um, but wow, this is so pretty and I really love it. I'm super excited to carry it just like this or to throw it on my arm. Um, wow, that's so pretty. I really like it. It's busy, but it's not too busy. And if you know Vera Bradley print, and if you know Vera Bradley prints, you know that their prints can get very, very busy. So that is that. And then we've got one more item. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm really, really excited about this. This is the passport wallet in the same print. Oh my gosh, this is so different from what I've had before from Vera. Okay. I've, I've had passport wallets from Vera before, but I've never had one like this and it's such an improvement. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Okay. So it is again in the Hummingbird Park um, print and it's got this big beautiful flower and it feels leathery. I highly doubt it is. It really no, there's no way that's leather. Okay, so either way, I don't care. It's so pretty. Um, so it's got a snap right here. That is the front. And this is what I got excited about because this is new and I have not seen this from Vera Bradley before. Maybe it's been out before, but on the back of this passport wallet, there's a coin purse. How cool is that? And this retails for $50. And that is also what I paid for it. Um, when I ordered these, they were had it, or this whole order when I ordered it, they were having their shoulder bag sale. So those were the only things on sale. So I didn't actually order anything that was on sale, but still, oh, I'm so excited about this. And oh, beautiful Hummingbird Park print. Okay, so now I'm going to open it and take all this stuffing out. Okay, so it is RFID protected. That was stuck in there. This is so pretty. Okay, so this is the inside. How gorgeous is that? And for someone like me who carries hardly any cards, um, I probably have more insurance cards for my children than I have of anything else. This is more than enough. I never travel pretty much ever. I have five kids and traveling with five kids is pretty much a nightmare. So <laughs> I love my children, but we don't travel anywhere that would require a passport. Wow, that is so pretty. And again, I'm someone who loves, loves, loves flowers. So gosh, this just makes me happy. I know, I'm a dork. <laughs> so let me show you all again. There's the mask. There is the passport wallet. And the purse. So let's see, can I get them all in the view together? How pretty. This print is so pretty. I really, really like this. And I'm really super happy with this purchase. So I actually cannot wait to switch my stuff into this bag. They do make it in a larger version, um, in a shoulder bag that does not have the crossbody strap. Uh, I personally do not want to get the larger version. If I buy a large bag, it's because I want to carry for more than just myself. If I'm wanting it for just myself, then I go with the smaller ones. Um, and I don't know about most of you guys, but it's, the bigger a bag is for me, the more I'm going to carry. So if I want to carry just stuff for myself, 
I stick to a smaller bag and this is a very, very nice size. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.